Good day and welcome back to another Blue Archive video. In this video we're going to take a look at who you should consider spending your total assault coins on after the latest Binar raid. So in Blue Archive you get assault coins from the recent total assault and we're going to be taking a look at who you should consider getting with the yellow coins currently. So in terms of the yellow coins we're looking at Maki. So the reason I've chosen Maki is Maki is great for Banar, but she can be used in a lot of other raids as a DPS. Uh, she's pretty low on the investment list. Um, you don't need to invest too much into her. And she has good versatility whilst being a pretty solid damage dealing DPS. Of course, Maki is a yellow type unit. So that gives you priority in terms of Banar. But overall, yellow has pretty decent representation and the fact that her abilities give her good single target damage means that she's going to be solid in some decent raids. She also decreases defense and increases her own attack speed, which gives her pretty good presence. Aside from Maki, in terms of the purple coins, we're going to be taking a look at Koharu. Koharu is a pretty good unit. She was one of the first striker healing units in the game. And Koharu remains a very solid explosive striker unit that is great at also being a healer. She's able to fill in as a healer for your team. She is also a striker. She allows you to free up a special slot if you don't need a healer. But you'll mainly find her usage in Hieronymus to heal the Green Lantern to fill, whilst also being able to damage the Divided Lantern. She is pretty good in terms of her AoE heal, and her EX skill can do some pretty good damage. So she's really quite solid. And she can be used in the early game, which makes her quite nice for players to pick up, especially when they're looking to provide some versatility to their roster. Because striker healers aren't uncommon now, but they're not super duper common, and Koharu has some pretty solid usability. She is a character that I would suggest you rather pull from the tactical assault shop as well, instead of purchasing her or summoning for her, as nowadays you do have some better options. Although I would recommend using her and investing in her to some degree as she always seems to have some level of usability in a variety of content. So Koharu, Maki, definitely the priority picks here. 